First click your AG button to make sure you're in air to ground mode. Then turn on your master arm switch and click on the laser arm switch right above that. Make sure your LGBs are selected in your SMS. I'm currently carrying six GBU 22s. Go to your HSD and cycle through your steer points. Select your target steer point if you haven't already. Now click on your weapon switch and click it again to go to the menu and select TGP for targeting pod. Make sure the L is lit up here in the lower right quadrant of your MFD. That verifies that your laser arm is on. Hit zero on your keypad once for the initial designation of the target. Then click on the center button at the top of your MFD to zoom in. Now use the arrow keys to move your targeting cross over your intended target. I can't lock onto it until I'm under 10 miles from target. Right now I'm just under 20 miles away. Once you are within 10 miles of your target, line up the targeting cross again and hit zero. This will be the final designation of your target. Turn your jet so that your flight path marker lines up with the vertical steering line and wait for the release cues. When you see the second release cue, hold down the pickle button. When the release cue reaches your flight path marker, the bombs will drop. Once the bombs are clear of the aircraft, steer slightly away from your target or the laser will not be able to guide the bombs. I'm simply going to change my heading from 120 to 110. When the bombs are close to their target, the L will start flashing in your MFD. This means that the laser is active and the bombs are on course. That bomb made a direct hit, but the building was not destroyed. I'll need to make another pass in order to get a kill. That problem can be solved by dropping a higher number of munitions on your pass or by using more powerful bombs.